and the high cost of doing business is still a big impediment to the growth of the local manufacturing sector. This is according to Kenya Manufacturers Chief Executive Felix Wakera, who says for the sector to grow at 15% in the next four years, there is a need to effect the Buy Kenya, Build Kenya policy, uh, offer preferential procurement treatment to local farms, and reduce the cost of doing business. Tonight on Business Insight, we we'll speak to Phyllis Wakiaga, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Kenya Manufacturing Association, and she tells us more about what measures have been put in place to ensure the Kenya manufacturing sector realizes its full potential. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. Now, maybe we can start with, uh, we have seen the Kenya manufacturing uh, sector stagnate for the last 10 years at 11%. Uh, what are the measures that you have put in place to ensure this sector uh, uh, realizes full potential? And also, what are the contributing factors to its stagnation? The manufacturing sector, as you've mentioned, has stagnated at about 10% in terms of its contribution to the GDP of Kenya for about the last 10 years. Uh, this is against the target that was set in Vision 2030, where we were hopeful that the sector would grow at about 10% per annum. Currently, how it has grown is that in 2014, we grew at about 3.4%. In the year before, in 2013, at about 5.6%, meaning we are still not at the 10% annual growth that we anticipated. And the Ministry of Industrialization has put in place the Kenya Industrial Transformation Program because they also realize the importance to scale up the growth of manufacturing. This is mainly because of the importance of the manufacturing sector in terms of job creation, in terms of uh, its contribution to tax revenue, and the contribution it has in the wider economy. The manufacturing sector is one of the sectors with the biggest multiplier effect, and what the Kenya Industrial Transformation Program seeks to do is to grow the contribution of the sector from the 10% we have seen in the last 10 years to 15% by 2020. Local companies cry that high cost of production is the cause why this sector is, uh, is, is uh, growing at a slow pace. Yes. Maybe we have seen even some other companies exit the Kenyan market, going to other markets. Maybe you can tell us uh, why is that? Over the years, we have identified some of the challenges in the general policy framework uh, that add to the cost of doing business. The duplication of regulations in some cases where the burden of compliance becomes a hindrance to the growth of business. The issues that are coming up under devolution where we have multiple taxes, multiple licensing in different counties is also adding to the cost of doing business. Uh, other issues like the level playing field uh, we talk about in terms of dealing with illicit goods in the market. We've seen actually some manufacturers close shop because of competing with counterfeits substandard goods, untaxed goods, contraband goods. So it's important for us to have a level playing field where we ensure that we deal with illicit trade so that we, it's competitive and attractive to manufacture locally. Okay. Uh, how can Kenya leverage on the extension of their go to ensure that, especially the textile and our apparel sector, which has really, it's not doing very well. How can we do that so that we can maybe, uh, the job uh, job the job access can be up to 100,000 uh, in a per year? I think how we can leverage, first of all, is looking at the products that we have access on, diversifying what we export, because there are other big markets like the specialty food, which is a 70 billion US dollar market that we need to take advantage of. So look at other uh, opportunities that lie within uh, this, these sectors, and also now build our local capacity to service the sectors that we have a competitive advantage in, because it's not just about products, it's which products can we produce uh, most competitively in our country. Uh, local content, 40% uh, uh, local content manufacturers are still crying that they are not given, their uh, preference is being given to foreign companies rather than local uh, manufacturers. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, this 40%, however, has still not been fully realized for some reasons. First of all, we, the monitoring mechanism. There needs to be a, in place a mechanism that monitors how much of the 40% has been taken up so that we are able to keep track of the different government contracts given out and what has actually gone to local companies. Secondly, there's also need for us to entrench the issue of 40% into the performance contracts of government because I know for a fact the issue of persons with disability, women and youth, is measured in the performance contract. The issue of local isn't measured, so it's important for us to measure this. And also, the new Public Procurement and Disposal of Assets Act has been passed. In the development of regulations, it needs to come out clearly that preference and reservation will be given to people who manufacture locally and create jobs locally.
carrying Jenga there and engaging with the well that's all for basin from the business desk thank you very much Car um, Catherine Chenga is coming up with this uh, with sports news have a good night